Hello everybody. In the last session, I talked about the load store instructions of RV32I base integer set. So before I move on to the next instructions on RV32I, I want to try some hands-on with the learned instructions. So the best way for me to learn about any processes assembly is to is by hands-on. So I started looking for a development board or something like a STM discovery board for ARM. I was looking for some development boards for uh, Risk Five. So then I came across this uh, sci-fi company. So in, in many forums and uh, through search, I came across this company, and this company works uh, mainly on uh, Risk Five. Okay, and uh, the so the couple of other things about this company is that a couple of co-founders on this company are also the main people behind the risk five standardization as well so i browsed uh, this for a couple of boards so i see they have a variety of boards but uh, this is the one which i have ordered so high five one ruby is the one which i have ordered but i haven't uh, received it yet but uh, i don't have to wait until i get the board because uh, sci-fi has a dev tool called freedom studio if you go to the product software and you can see that here okay you can download for your platform so i have uh, windows so i have already installed this uh, freedom studio so the the most interesting thing about this freedom studio is that it has the support for a emulator of our couple of especially for my board for they have the emulator support for this board so once we download the freedom studio once we install and if you open the freedom studio this is what you should see but sometimes you can also see the screen like uh, let's get started the screen you can so we don't have any board or we don't have to do any anything with this so we can just close and create a new project okay so you can see here there are multiple options and if you want to know more about this freedom studio they have an uh, amazing user manual so for example so this is the freedom studio user manual okay it, it, it's a very elaborate manual how to set up your freedom studio and how to open the project and it, it even covers different perspective like so it's, it's it's very elaborative so for the first time if you need any help you can download this uh user manual and you are ready to go but i have already gone through this and uh, let's yeah so let's create a new project so after sdk we have to create this freedom esdk project okay let me squeeze this okay and here yeah it's already in quick emulator and you can see here so they have the support for most of their boards but this is the one which i have ordered so i'm just gonna try the same for emulation as well and it, it comes with the uh, several uh, built-in sample code and sample applications so i'm just gonna start with the hello world and later i can add my own code on top of this so for the very first time it would uh, take quite some time you can see here so it has to set up all the uh, startup code and it has to even set up the tool chain it will build everything so it, it, it takes a couple of time a couple of uh, minutes for the for the very first time you can see here it is setting up the okay so this is the quick launch window all you have to just press so it launches the debugger but 
I'll just stop this for now and so you can see the build targets here okay maybe we can come to this later but this is a source directory debug and this is a source code it has this is a what do you say the um, boilerplate code you can start with I'm just gonna build run and see if uh, if the hello world works well okay great so hello world works well now we are ready to go now let's see how we can add uh, assembly instructions to this hello world project okay I'm just gonna create a new file for assembly instructions and I'm just gonna call it as assembly.s please remember this is an uppercase yes so that it gets passed to the assembler okay let me just write the skeleton first so these are GNU assembler directives so you can if you don't know you can search in internet for GNU assembler I'm just gonna so that's the skeleton let's go to the hello main and here you'll see that we have an extend function it does not return anything assembly and y okay let's call this function and see if there is any compilation error or warning okay great now I'll just add a single assembly instruction so load upper immediate so if you haven't seen the load store instructions, I recommend you to watch the video. So I'm just gonna use X2 here, okay, X2 register and load at 20 bit value. It's gonna be, okay. Now if you want to check the register values, then we'll get, in, we should get into the debug mode, go to, this okay so now it's in the debug mode so this is to step into okay now let's see the registers here uh, okay so now if you see here the register names are completely different from what we used in the load store instructions the reason is okay if you go to the risk file instructions at manual for the unprivileged ISA and you can see there's a section called the risk for assembly programmers handbook and you can see this table so so these are just uh, mnemonics for this register so you can use uh, anything like you can either use this uh, x0 to x31 registers or you can use any of these mnemonics so these mnemonics are easy to remember because uh, the mnemonics are directly attached to the functionality but regarding the ABI and the functionality we will come to this later but for all for now all you need to know is um, for each register from x0 to x31 there is a corresponding mnemonic attached to it now let's get back okay so for x2 you are writing it x2 so the corresponding name for x2 here is sp okay so this register sh value should be updated I'm just gonna step into again okay here you go so the value is updated here and one more time if I step into it com comes back to the uh, main function now we are ready to explore all other load store instructions 
so in the next video i will cover all the lord's or instructions whatever we learned